dot. Is Teacher Vicky, can I ask? Yes, you may. Um, later we draw on the paper A4 or A3, teacher. Okay, we're going to do a couple of projects today. We will be needing, hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open up what we need. I'm just gonna have a look at my list. Give me one second. We will be needing two A3 pieces of paper, two A3 pieces of paper. Okay. Uh, we'll also probably be needing a small A4. I probably didn't write that in, but that's okay. Did everybody watch the video that I sent? Yes, it's all yeah. about lines. Say again. It's all about lines. That's right. Not only, let's see, it's also it's also about the art elements, isn't it? We're going to talk about those in a moment. We'll just wait for everybody to get on before we start all that information. All right. So can everybody see? Oh, where's the chat? There it is. I'm going to put something in the chat so you can see what our end result. Now, I'm sure you have this information anyway. I'm sure everybody got this artwork which we'll be doing today oh <laughs> that's good okay. There are so many types of lines. You know what I can't do, Dorothy? I can't get my chat to be opened up on the side. Oh, man. The chat? Do okay. Click on the chat, it will show. Yeah, I just did. Okay, because yeah. I want to I wanna take a screenshot. It's not letting me because of the ch chat. It's right <laughs> now.
Is that clear? Does that come across as clear? Yeah, it's pretty clear. Hello, teacher Vicky. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. What's your name? Okay, how many? Let me just have a quick look at everybody's beautiful faces. Oh, we've got a full house. Hi, everyone. Hi, nice to see you all. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Let me just put myself on. I can see you. Yay. Hi. It's so good to see everybody. Nice to see you all. I can't wait to do some yeah. art with you. I'm very excited. Are you excited? Are you guys excited? Yes. Yes. Did you get all the material? Yeah. Everybody got the materials? Yeah. Good. We're just going to wait another two more minutes. Somebody's got their, somebody has not muted themselves. So if you're not going to speak, I want you to mute yourself, okay? If you're not talking to me, then I want you to mute yourselves because everybody doesn't need to listen to the conversations that are happening in, in the background, okay? We don't want to hear what your parents are saying or what you're saying to your, you know, your siblings and your brothers and sisters, okay? So just make sure that you're on mute so we don't listen to all the noise. Because you can't hear the noise. Everybody else can hear your noise, okay? But you can't hear your own. So that's why you need to mute yourselves if you're not going to talk, okay? If you're going to say something to me, then you unmute yourselves. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here. All right. So we're just going to start in one more minute. Give me one more minute so that everybody can jump on. Please, can I ask you a question? Yes. How old are you? I am over 50. You're over 50? Yes. <coughs> Where do you live? Oh, How old are you? Five years old. I'm 54. Oh, 54. Oh. Oh. I was saying. Yeah. So what I want, I want everybody to do, listen up everyone. I want everybody to rename themselves if they haven't done so already. So I want your name, your English name, your age, just the number. I don't want you to write a <laughs> just the number. Okay. So I want you to put, I need you to put your name, your English name, your age, and then what was it, Dorothy? What should they put? Their place uh, where, where they their live? Their current place, their city or province. And where their you live, what city? city. Yeah. Yes, what city you live in, okay? Three things. Yeah. Vicky, 54, Melbourne. Okay, that's what I'm going to write. But you don't need that information, so I'm not going to write that. I want you to do that. So name, your English name, because I need Nick to. Name. I need to yeah. yeah, your English name, your age, just the number, and then what city you're from. What city? Okay. Can you please? Good, very good. So, Bayo, you need to do, you need to rename yourself, honey. Yeah, Bayo? Cool. Okay. Yes. Uh, what? <laughs> Sam, you too. I need your age and what city you're from. Okay. You know how to name yourselves? No. You don't? My name is Sarah. Can, Dorothy, can you explain how they can rename themselves? Uh, uh, that's already my name. Yeah, your age, your name, age, and city. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sus. Teacher, are you eat, eat Vietnamese? Can you speak Vietnamese? 
No. Cô Đức hả? Cô Đức người Việt. Ok. Con cần gì? Tụi con đổi tên giùm cô Đức nha. Đổi tên đổi tên giống như là nhiều bạn nè. Ví dụ như là bạn Lucy nè. Bạn, bạn phải đổi tên có... Did you eat speak? Yes, I can speak Vietnamese for sure. I speak English and Vietnamese. Can you speak Vietnamese? Are you eat? Are you teacher? Teacher? No. Yes, I'm, I was born in Vietnam, but I live in Melbourne. Okay. Hey, okay. okay. All right, is everybody nearly ready? Has everybody got their name, their age, and then their yeah. sister? Sarah, Sarah, can you please change your name and change your whatever it says under your icon make sure you have your name your age and your city i have my name my age and my city already anna i'm talking to anna sorry sarah i'm talking to sarah i'm talking to anna you guys have to do the same apple apple you didn't tell me what city you're from all right um all right i think we're just about ready to start is everybody ready yeah yeah all right good so okay should we, we mute everyone vicky yes sorry should i mute everyone so that it focus yeah well, I kind, of, I kind of want everyone to know that they should mute themselves Lucy, can you mute yourself, please? Okay. Everybody, everybody should mute themselves if they are not talking. Okay? Nobody needs to listen to what is going on in your home. Okay? You're going to be making noise. You're going to be talking to your parents or your brothers and sisters. We don't need to hear that information. So you need to mute yourselves. Unless you want to say something, if you want to say something, you unmute yourself and you say, excuse me, teacher Vicky, and then you say what you need to say, all right? Okay, now let's begin. First of all, what's my name? Your name is teacher Vicky. Vicky, that's teacher right. Teacher Vicky. Teacher Vicky, that's exactly right. I'm from Melbourne, Vicky. Australia. Do you know where that is? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Has, yeah. Anybody, yeah. has anybody travelled to Australia before? No. No? no. Yes, I've come to Australia. Yeah. Maybe one day you will no. travel to Australia. Now, no. I, I am wishing, I'm wishing, I'm holding my fingers crossed because I'm wishing that maybe I can come to Vietnam one day and see your beautiful country. Would love to do that. All right, now, the first thing we are going to do for our art class is talk about the elements. Elements. Everybody elements. say elements. Everybody elements. 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 Everybody see? Elements. Okay. Good. Elements. Everybody, shh. Everybody have a look at chat can everybody see how i've written the word elements yeah all right so yeah. what i want to do uh, what? i want to take an a yourselves on mute please sarah lucy put yourselves on mute good you too, Lucy. Put yourself on mute, please. Good girl. You changed your name. Very good. Very good. Now, can everybody see the difference between A4 and an A3 paper? Which one do you think is A4? Which one do you think is A3? A4 is the small one. A3 is the bigger one. Lucy, is the bigger one. A3. All right, guys. Now, I want everybody to have a look at my hand. Look at my hand on A3. Can you see how small my hand is, right? Yeah. Now, have a look at my hand A4. 
Can everybody see how, how big my hand is now? Yeah. yeah. So which paper is smaller? A4. 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 This is A4. And this one is A3. See how big it is? It's double. If I fold this in half, it's going to be exactly the same size as this one. Okay? So A3 is big, but A4 is small. Now, I want everybody to take an A4 piece of paper. Are you ready? We're going to write our first elements. Now, I know everybody watched. Who did not watch the video? Put your hand up if you did not watch the two videos that I sent you. So everybody watched it? Put me a thumbs up. Put a thumbs up if you watched it. Excellent, Jordan. Excellent. Did you watch it? Bim, did you watch it? Cabbage? Anna, good girl, you watched it? Put your thumbs up if you watch the two videos. Good boy, Win. Good boy, Brian and Max. Fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put all those art elements on one page. All right. Now, remember, please, I don't want to remind you. Or Lily, Lily says her camera's broken. Honey, I'm so sorry that your camera's broken. Hopefully you can fix it by the second, the second lesson that we have. Now, everybody see this piece of paper? No. Uh, yes. Can you see my wiggly fingers? Can you see my yeah. wiggly fingers? Yeah. Right. yeah. I'm going to take this piece of paper, right? Oh. Okay. Take this piece of paper and I want you to fold it long ways like this. Can everybody make sure that it's perfectly lined? One. Right? This is an A4 piece of paper. One. Look how many times I'm going to fold it. Ready? This is the second time I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it again. Two. Right? I'm going to crease it along. And then the last time I'm going to fold it. One, two. This is the third time. Three. How many times did I fold it? Three. Three. Three times. Three. Okay, let me show you what happens. What happens when I open it? How many lines am I going to get? Who's really good at maths? Six. Three. How many lines am I going to get? Six. Six? Six. Let's have a look. Let's count them. Six. 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 Four, five, six, seven. Seven. Oh. All right. So, okay, I want everyone to grab their ruler. Okay, I want everybody to grab their ruler and I want you to draw lines where there's a crease. I'm going to do mine in marker, right? This is what we call a marker. You don't have to do it in marker. You can do it in pencil if you want to. I'm only doing it in a marker because it's it's it, it's it'll show up better hang on let me just open up what's going on Vicky, yeah maybe can i can i mute everyone and when you need to ask and then you know otherwise it's it's our control yeah okay all right okay. Oh, they should know though i mean if we say to mute it's, themselves it's, everybody knows how to mute themselves right Sushi. Yeah, but you know. yeah. All right. Wait. All right. Yeah. Okay. You go. Yes, Vicky. Am I able to un? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You talk. Am I able to mute everybody? Yes. Okay, you'll have to show me how to do that. All right, guys, let's watch what I'm going to do now. Can everybody see the creases? How many times did I fold? I'll do it again. One, two, and three. Three times I folded it perfectly in half. Now, I'm going to take my ruler, right? I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw lines on those creases. So that's one line. How many did we say? How many lines? Seven. Two. 
three, four, five, six, and the last one is seven. Okay, has everybody got this now? Okay, good, very good, Mia. Excellent, Do. Do Fu Quan. Good, Jordan. Wait, Jordan, what did you do, honey? You folded it the wrong way. You folded it the wrong way. We only have lines going across, we don't have any lines going down. Good, Ben. Good, Mia. All right, now I want everybody to grab their ruler, right? And I want you to put zero on the very edge, on the left side, right? And I want you to put a dot where it says five centimeters, okay? So five centimeters dot. And I want you to do the same down here, okay? So one at the top of the page and one at the bottom of the page. So can everybody see what I'm doing? Can everybody see my wiggly fingers, right? So I'm going to put zero on the edge of the page and then I'm going to put a dot. Can everybody see now that I have two dots? What am I going to do? I'm going to join those two dots together. I'm going to turn my ruler around. I'm going to make it long ways, right? And I'm going to draw a line, but no, not up here. This is going to be my title. I'm going to write art elements. Okay, so art elements is going to be my title. And then I've got that line down the side and I'm going to start writing my art elements. Now, if you watch the video, can you talk again, Vicky? Sorry, my camera is broken. Okay, so has everybody come this far? Is everybody drawing this up? Give me a thumbs up if you have drawn this okay, up. Should I spotlight? Uh, you want spotlight both, or you just spotlight your your phone? Yeah. Well, it's up to you. I think I think it's okay if you spotlight just the one. I'll take myself on off spotlight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you need to talk to them, no, because they said that they can't see the screen yet. All right, thank you. Well, the thing is, they need to. Can you tell everybody to put it on on a speaker and not gallery? Explain to them. What did you say? You're on mute. No, I did say, but if you spoke live for both, it's still small, you know. Yeah. Okay. So if you spoke live both, you and the phone, the, the screen is still small. Yeah. All right, Even guys. If, yeah. So if you watch the video with the art elements, you would know. Wait me a second, please. Yes, Brian, I will wait. Good girl. Good, sorry. Good boy, Bim. Excellent work. Show me, your, show me your work, everyone. I want to see your work. Jordan, you have to take your, your blur off the background because I can't see anything. If you've got blur, Nijen, Tom, good Tom, excellent. Anifus, excellent. Now, Jordan, Jordan, remember? Yours should look like mine, okay? Look at my wiggly fingers. Can you see this page? This is what it should look like. Okay. Has everybody drawn the line down the, down the side? That's five centimetres, right? So you take the ruler, you put it on the side, you put zero at the edge, and then you put a dot here where it says five centimetres, one here and one here, and then you draw the line. Now, I want everybody to write these words, okay? The first one is line, which is what we're going to do today, okay? The next one, okay, is 
the next one. is color. Right? I hope you're watching and writing what I'm writing. The next one is value. Value. And then we have shape. And then we have texture. And then we have space. And then we have form. Now, if you can't see that clearly, I'm going to write them in our chat. Okay, everyone? Line. Color, value, shape, texture. Texture, space, and form. Okay, so if you can't see very clearly here on my page, now don't forget the title is Art Elements. Now what? Are art elements. Art elements make up a picture. Okay, we find all of these, we call them elements, in any drawing or any picture, any painting, any picture, okay, any image. That's what we see. We see a number of them or we see one or two of them. Very nice, Mia. Good. Good girl. Perfect. Perfect. Good, Jordan. Good. Now, I want everybody. To come here where it says line, what kind of lines can you think of? I can think of a squiggly line. I can think of a zigzag line. I can think of a dotted line. Can you see this dotted line? I can, I can see, I can think of a, a dashed line. So I want everybody to, oh, what about a swirly line? What about one of these lines? What do we call these again? They, we call these scallops. Okay, what about lots of lines together? What about a hashed line, like a, a cross hatch? So going the opposite direction, right? So I want you to do just a number of lines here where it says line, okay? That's all I want you to do. Many, many, many lines. Well, not that many, as much as can fit in this space, in this rectangle. Ooh, that's excellent, BIM. Fantastic, you guys. Now, I'm going to take some colored pencils or textures or whatever you have. You might even just have crayons. It doesn't matter what you have. I'm just going to take a bunch of crayons and I'm just going to draw some color because everybody knows when I say color what we mean. Yes? So I'm just going to put some color here. It doesn't matter what what. You draw, it doesn't matter at all. This is just to express, just to demonstrate the color aspect, okay, the color element. So just take some colors. It doesn't matter what colors you take and just put some color here, all right? Just to show everyone what we mean. Just some color, no shape, no line, just the color. Excellent. Good girl, Sushi. Fantastic. Good, good, good. Now, Anna, I can't see your work, honey. You have to take off your blur background. Take it off because I can't see your work. Anyone who's got a blurry background, I cannot see your work. If you want me to see your work and make a comment, take off the blurry background. Okay, I can barely see it, Anna. That's good. All right, let's go. Value. Now, I want everyone to take a pencil, not a marker, not a marker. Close your marker now. We can't use this. I want everybody to draw one, two, three, four, five squares. Okay. Now, I've asked everybody to get a, a, 
a 2B or a 4B pencil. I hope you've got a 4B or a 2B. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to color the first square really, really dark. Okay. So this is what we call a value scale where we look at the dark and the light of a color or an object. So I'm going to color this first square as dark as I can without breaking the pencil. Try your best not to break the pencil. Press as hard as you can, but try not to press it so hard that you break the pencil lead. Okay, the point. So that's going to be as hard as I can. And then I'm going to move over to this one. I'm going to make this square a little bit lighter. Can everybody see? I'm going to hold it a little bit closer to the camera. Can everybody see how that's just a, a little bit lighter? Can you see that? Yes. Good, Sushi. Good. I saw you say yes. All right. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to make it just a little bit lighter. And now I'm going to move over to the next square. And I'm going to make it even lighter. Okay. Now I want I want you all to do this in gray lead pencil. Okay. This is not going to work. It will work with a colored pencil, but I want you to use a gray lead. Okay. And I'm getting lighter. And as I move down, I make it even lighter. And this one is going to be the absolute lightest. I'm barely touching the, the paper with my pencil. Okay. There you have it. We have a value scale. How many? One, two, three, four, five. A five grade value scale. That's what we call that. The light and the dark of a color. Teacher, my colored pencils have only dark green light and no more green. Um, I, um, now, I don't need you to have a green pencil. I just need you to have a gray lead. You know what a gray lead is? A gray lead is just a normal pencil when we go to school and we write in pencil. This is what you need. Not a pen and not a colored pencil. So these are my colored pencils. Can you see my colored pencils? They're all different colors, aren't they? Yeah, they're all different colors. But I don't want you to use a colored pencil now. I want you to use a gray lead. Yeah. Okay, Lily, so I have only dark green. So don't even, I don't want you to have any colored pencils today, okay? Or only for here, only for this color. That's all I wanted you to have colored pencils today. You could even have crayons. Good, that's amazing, Sarah. Pencil, yes. Excellent, Anna. Wow, wow. Excellent work, everybody. Oh, my goodness. You guys are little artists, aren't you? All right. Now, let's go to shape. I know that you guys know shapes because you learn them at school. Who can draw some shapes and then show me? Okay. Uh, the, the most common shape, I would say, is probably the circle. What's another one? Write it in the chat, please. Write it in the chat. What's another one? What's this one called? Can everybody write it in the chat? What is that one called? So we have a circle. We have a good square. Good, Jordan. Good. Ooh, a trapezoid. That's really good. Victor, that's really fancy. Can you show us what a trapezoid looks like? What about this one? What is this? What does this mean? What is that shape? Oh, no, 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 cancel. Uh-oh. What have I done? Dorothy, did I accidentally put my audio on? Did I put my audio on? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. What am I going to do? How do I get rid of that? What do you mean? I thought what, I put my audio? audio on. No? 
No, no, it's all good. All right, okay. no worries. All right. Yeah. I thought I'd put it on. Okay, guys. Oh, I love it. Everyone's showing me their beautiful little shapes. What about um this one? There's a triangle. There's a crescent. Does anyone know what that means? Crescent. That's what it looks like. The moon. Yeah. We don't say the moon shape. We say a crescent. Uh, what else can I show you? Um. Oh, there's the star. There's the six-pointed star where you do two triangles, one upside down. Uh, and then we have the five-pointed star, right? Very nice. Good, good, good. What about, ooh, and the first, that's gorgeous. I think he drew something like this. And, oh, what about the love heart? There's a shape, okay? So everybody's just drawing some shapes. That all that's all we're doing for now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good, 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 good. Good sushi, good Anna. All right, let's go to texture. So what I want you to do with texture is I want you to take your shoes, right? Take your shoes and I want you to have a look underneath if it has some patterns. Have a look to see if your shoes have patterns underneath. And I want you to put this piece of paper over the shoe and then I want you to rub it. Okay, I'll give you an idea. Oh, hard to take my shoe off. All right, so here's my shoe and I'm going to put my paper on my shoe and then I'm going to rub it like this. You have to be careful because you don't want to tear the paper. And this is what we call rubbing technique. And we see the texture. Can everybody see what I just did there? Right? But you don't have to. There are other things around your house. I'm sure there are other things around your house you can use as texture. Um, even money. If you've got coins. Wait, let me get some coins. Let me get So this is, does anyone know what this is? Do you know what this is? This is where I, this is ink for my printer, right? And it's got lots of grooves on it. So if I put this here underneath my paper and then I start rubbing, ooh, look at this really cool effect. Can you see that? That's the rubbing technique and we create texture. And look at some of my money. Can you see my coins? I'm going to put some coins under here and then I'm going to see what comes up when I rub it. Now, make sure when you're doing this rubbing technique, you have your pencil on the side, right? Put your pencil on the side. Can you see my pencil? Okay, it's not up like this, right? And, and that there's the texture. Now, there are other ways we can create texture. If you can't find something around the house, that's perfectly okay. We can create texture with just lines like this. For those of you who can't find anything around the house to use as a rubbing tool, you can just do something like that, and that's good enough. All right? So sometimes you can find a basket. Maybe you can find um, a pencil case or what else can we use? Mm hard because I'm not in your house and I don't know what things you have oh I know on um, the chair maybe sometimes there are some little holes in your chairs oh what have you got there um B wow check out B everybody what have you got B is that like a um a basket or something I want you to show me B, I want you to show me what that looks like, okay? Hold up your work and I want to see what that looks like. When you finish it. Oh, Lucy, looking amazing. Oh, what did you use, Sarah? What did Sarah use? A coin. Oh, is that Vietnamese money? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wow, what did you use, Brian? A piece of wood, that's awesome. 
Well done. Anna, what did you use? And Jordan. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one, space. Ready? Let's move on. Now, I want everyone to draw a really, really big house right here where it touches the bottom. When I say the bottom, this line, and the roof touches the top. Can you see that big house? It's one of the, right, and it's got a, a couple of windows and a door. Maybe it's got some tiles on the roof. Don't go into too much detail and maybe a chimney. All right, so there's my house, a very basic house. I don't want you to go into too much detail. It's not important right now. Now, I want everybody to draw a horizon line in the background. Now, remember, when we draw a horizon line, we don't go through all the objects. For example, we're not going to go through the house, are we? We're going to go behind the house. That's our horizon line. And for anyone who doesn't know, a horizon line is the line where the sky meets the earth, okay, where the sky meets the ground. So this is the sky up here and that's the ground. Now, what I want you to do so that we can show space is I want you to draw about five or six smaller houses. See, one, two, three. Look how tiny. Look how tiny I'm making my other houses, the ones in the background. They're really, really small, aren't they? So about five or six little, little baby houses. Now, this is showing me that when something is close, it's big. But when something is far away from us, it's small. Okay, and here we are looking at space. You got it? Yes, Sushi, I'm waiting for you. Teacher, I can't think of anything. Oh, okay, Jordan, what was that referring to? For teacher, Vicky, I don't have any shoes. <laughs> Anifers, doesn't matter. Coins, you could have used, used coins maybe for your texture. Yes, very good. Very good, Brian. Let me see, Jordan. Good, Jordan. Good, Mia. Good, Sarah. Good, Ben. A little bit closer, Ben, I can't see. Yes. Yes, Nijen. Good, good, good. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Excellent. Good, Anna. And you too, Lucy. And you too, Bim. Fantastic, guys. Now, the last one. Now, the last one is a combination of shapes and value. I want everyone to hang on. Hang on. All right, I went here, everyone to make a small circle, right? Now, what I want you to do with this small circle is I want you to draw, actually, I want you to draw a little bit darker on the outside than the inside, okay? So basically, we're taking a circle and we are changing it into a, who can tell me what this looks like? Wait, wait till I finish. Who can tell me what this looks like now when I add a little value? When I say value, I mean the darks and the lights, right? Who can tell me now? Give me one second. What does that look like to you? It's no longer a circle, but it's a, what is it? What is it? It's a sphere, right? It's a sphere. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Can everybody see my sphere? How did I do that? Does anyone know how I did that? I shaded it and I went dark around the edges and then towards the center, I went lighter. Okay, so this is a square, right? Everybody have a look at my picture. This is a square. Now, what happens if I do this? What is that now? Who knows what that is? What do we call that? Put it in the chat, please. Ha! Huh. Mary said that it was a pearl. Yes. A pearl is the same as a sphere. 
Yes, a cube. Very good. That's a cube. So what we have is form. Form is when something looks three-dimensional. It looks like real, doesn't it? Okay. So a square is a shape that we did up here. We talked about shapes before, but a form is when it looks three-dimensional. Okay. All right. We have finished. Please keep these pieces of paper. I want you to bring this to every single lesson. Does everybody understand me? Put a thumbs up if you understand when I say bring it to every lesson. Why do we need to bring this to every lesson? Because we will go through each and every single one of these art elements. Everybody say art elements. And everybody say with me, line, color, value, shape, texture, space, and form. All right. Now, some of you weren't saying that with me. I'm going to do it one more time. I want everybody to say it. I know I can't hear you, but it doesn't matter. I want everybody to say it nice and loud. Line. Say it. Line. Color. I want to see your mouths moving. Value. Good. Shape. Texture. Space and form. Okay, we're going to bring this page to our lesson every single day. Now, next slide. We are going to use who took the photocopies? Who had photocopies made for them? Everybody needs to have one of these. Has everybody got these? Good. Now, I want you to follow me because we're going to look at all these different types of lines, okay? Now let's go because today, today we are going to do the first art element and we're going to look at line only. We're not going to look at all the others. This was just an introduction, okay? We're going to look at line specifically. All right, now where it says straight line, I think everybody knows what a straight line looks like. I'm going to use my ruler. You guys can use pencil, okay? I'm using a text, I'm using a marker because it's a little bit hard for you to see. So I want you to see it clearly. So I might take my ruler and just draw one straight line. There you go. All right, that was easy. What about a waved line? A wavy line, what does that look like? Do you know? It goes up and down and up and down and up and down. That's what a wavy line looks like, okay? That's all I want you to do. Got it? Easy. Let's go to the dotted line. Now, I want you to draw a straight line. That's a dot, right? See that? That's a straight line. That's a dot, dotted straight line. But now, here, I want you to do a wavy dotted line. Up and down. Up and down. And up and down. And there you go. All right? Good. Let's go to zigzag. Everybody knows what zigzag is. It's like triangles. Yeah. It's like triangles in a row. Zigzag, zigzag, up, down, up, down, all the way across. Everybody knows what a zigzag is. They're just triangles without the bottom on them. All right. Now, dashed. What do you think a dashed line? Who knows what a dash means? Who knows what the word dash means? Dash. Dash, dash, dash. Now, for those of you who can't see what I'm doing, I'm just going to take this copy and I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put it in the chat. In the chat. Why well, can't everyone? All right. So have a look at. Have a look at um, what I've put in the chat. That's just all what we're doing now. So dashed lines, it's basically a line that has a gap in between, okay? Now, scallop line is just like U's, you know, the letter U, 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 without the little line, or W, a really long, long, long W. Does everyone know the alphabet in English? 
Yes. Okay, that's what a scallop is. I don't know why they call them a scallop. Why well, I don't know why they call this line a scallop. Hashed. A hashed line is basically, and we get an um slanted hash. So this one and this one are very same. A hashed line is just lines that are very close together that are upright. Right? Can you see that? They're just very small lines that are upright and they're very close together. That's all that is. Hash. Okay. You don't have to do the whole row. Now, jigsaw, okay, jigsaw. Has anyone seen what a jigsaw piece looks like? All right, like this. All right, that's what a jigsaw looks like. I'll just put it up a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Cut it. Now, a loop line is just a small loop up the top. So go down, up loop, up loop, up loop, up loop. Yes, yes, yes. All right, lightning. Lightning is, so it's a bit like zigzag, but it's on the side, yeah? And then thin line. Okay, so I'm just going to use the very tip of my marker and I'm going to make it as thin as possible. As thin, I'm just barely touching the surface. It's very thin. It doesn't have to be straight. It has to be thin. And thick, I'm pressing really hard on my texture to make that thick line. And if I wanted to, I could just colour it in as well. Now, slanted hash. Remember what I said about this hash? Slanted hash is exactly the same as this, but slanted means on the side. So you just put it on the side. So lots of lines together on the side, however. Okay. Now spiral and loop, they look the same. But spiral overlaps. Can everybody see how all the lines are overlapping? Whereas looped has a specifically separate loop. So see the difference? Loop, are they separate? Yes. But here spiral, they're just overlapping all the time. Can everybody see what I'm doing? They're overlapping. Okay. Now. What's shark? Ooh. So shark is Okay. That looks like a shark spin, doesn't it? And walk around. Walk around looks a bit like jigsaw, but it's a little bit different. It like all the way around, down. It's like a half circle. All right. All right. Now waves. Now waves. Oh, okay. I understand. Waves are like this. Can you see how they're like the shark? but the wave goes under, it goes really curly. See that? Can everybody see what I'm doing? There you go. Yes, good girl sushi. And now we have the rest of these, mouse ears. So these are like the walk around basically. They look like Mickey Mouse ears. And the swirl, oh, these are nice. I like doing these. Now you can start with the swirl from the inside or you can start from the outside. I'm going to start it from the outside. So watch me as I do this. I'm going to start from the outside and then I'm going to do a swirl that goes in. Yeah. I'm going to start from the outside and then I'm just going to go round and round and round until 
I'm reach the center and I can't go anymore. Or I'm going to start from the center and then move outwards, 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 outwards. Got it? Good sushi. Good girl. Now the cloud is just like the cloud. It's just one of these puffy clouds. I don't know why this we use this as a line, but yeah, this is a puffy cloud. Everybody's drawn clouds in the sky, right? Has everyone done something like this before? Now, cross hatching is when you go both ways. Okay, hang on. Let me just, I'm just going to put it a little bit closer. I feel as though some of you can't really see as well. Me. All right, so let's go to the cross hatching. So we go one way and then we go the opposite way. Can everybody see? This is what we call cross hatching. I want to go up ways, so up and down, vertical, and now we go horizontal, sideways. See that? That's what we call cross hatching. Very good. So I might go sideways again sideways and then I'm going to go the opposite way okay circle circle chain okay so this is just a circle chain so it's basically one circle and then followed by another circle but it's like a chain yeah so they're looped together so I actually have to lift up my pencil or my marker so one circle after the next and then they're looping into each other all right, excellent. Now the heels look a little bit like wavy, but the heels have got like a point up and down. See, they're wavy. They look like wavy lines. But if you go back and look at your wavy lines, what's the difference? What's the difference between these heels and this wavy line? This wavy line is a lot flatter, isn't it? It's flat. Whereas this one is hilly. It's actually a a steeper loop, a steeper hill. Now, curly is just curly. See this? This is curly like curly hair. Now, that looks very much like the spiral, doesn't it? Remember we did the spiral earlier? So just more curls, like as if it had somebody had very curly hair. Now, scribbly is when you just scribble in all directions. Everybody knows how to scribble because we were all born knowing how to scribble. When you were babies, that's all you did was scribble. Yes? You know how to scribble. That's the easiest thing for you to do. Horizontal lines. These are horizontal lines. And diagonal lines. right and of course vertical lines okay and that's it now what I want you to do for homework is I want you to find and name some more lines okay I want you to invent your own lines so look how many spaces are left here I'm going to count one two three four five six if you can find six other lines then I want you to write them here and I want you to post them on Zalo. Does everybody understand what Zalo is? The chat line? Yes? I want you to take a photo of these new lines that you're going to invent and I want you to name them and then I want you to take a photo and I want you to post them up so everyone else can see your original lines. They don't have to be original. You can pinch them from somewhere else. So this is what we did today. We did a whole... Two pages, well, not two, two and one and a half pages worth of lines. And we're going to use these lines in a minute. Now, is everybody just about ready to go on to our next project? Okay.
All right, good. We have just over half an hour left. We have about 40 minutes left for this next part. Are you ready? Okay, so we're going to put this aside. Okay, we're going to put this aside and we are going to grab, and what size is this? Who can tell me what size is it? Everybody write it in the chat. I'm going to put my hand up so you can tell. What is this size? Is it A4 or A3? What does it look like to you? Yes, A3. Very good, everyone. Very, very good. Everybody's got that right. Now, this size is the smaller one. It's a smaller size, isn't it? Right? See my hand, how it's much, much bigger against that? So we get the big piece of paper. Now, I want everyone. I want everyone to grab their compass. Do you know what a compass is? There are two compasses. There are two kinds of compasses. There's one where it shows you north, south, east, west, and there's one that makes circles like this. Okay? Has everybody got one of these? If you don't have one of these, go and get yourself a plate from the kitchen. Good. Good, Brian. Good, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Now, what I want you to do is, hang on just a second. I want everyone to open up their compass, take their ruler and open up your compass to 11 centimetres. Do you know the number 11? You start from zero to 11. Got it? Okay, now here on your piece of paper, I want you to locate the center. Now, guys, when you're, when you're locating the center, I need you to locate the center. Now, you tell me, is this the center? Does that look like the center of the page? No. What about this side? Is that the center? Is that the center? No. So I want you to locate the center of the page, all right? Locate the center of the page. Let me just bring it up just a little bit more. Right. Okay, let's locate the center of the page and put the pointy part in the middle, right in the middle. Right, and I want you to draw very lightly, not too dark. I want you to draw a round circle around the middle. Okay. Now, remember where that center is. I want you to put a nice, a bigger hole in the center because I want you to put a point there because we need to find that center. Okay, so this is my circle and I have my point in the middle. All right now, you guys need to do this in pencil. Then we're going to go over it with a marker. So, can everybody see? Wait, 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 wait. See that? Can everybody see how I've rubbed out parts? Okay, these lines going outwards, okay? There are 14 of these lines, and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to draw 14 of these lines, but I'm kind of missing something. I don't know where it is. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just going to go from the center and I'm going to do some squiggly lines moving outwards. So one, how many of these lines do I need to do? 14, 14, two, three, four. Don't make them too close together. Don't make them too far apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13. Where am I going to put my other one? 14. There you go. So now I've got 14 lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rubber, my eraser. Some people call it eraser. Some people call it rubber. I call it rubber, but sometimes I call it eraser. I'm going to rub out every second one. Now you have to pay attention to my instructions, everybody. Is everybody listening? Can everybody see now how I'm going to rub out this one? Okay, I'm going to rub out this one, but I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to rub out this one, but I'm going to keep the next one. So every other one I rub out, every second one. All right, so I'm going to do this, but then I'm going to do it in texture because I know that you guys can barely see this. I get it. So how many lines do I need going outwards? How many? Who remembers the number? How many lines going outwards like this? 14. Remember what I said? 14. One, two, three, four. Okay, you need to go all the way around. Now, I'm going to actually, in tech, in marker, I'm going to go over all these lines. So I'm going to go over my lines first, the ones that are moving outwards, right? I'm going to just move this. If I don't go over exactly the, the line, that's okay. You don't have to go exactly over the lines because you can just go over and rub out whatever you didn't go over. And this one. Okay, now I'm going to go over every other one. Remember how I rubbed out every second one? So, yeah, I'm going to make sure that I go over, I trace every other one, All right? Can everybody see what I'm doing? need you to understand that we are not going to go over every single one of these, every second one. Now, if you're listening to my instructions carefully, you're not going to make a mistake. Who did it wrong? That's okay, Sushi. You've got you're doing it in um you're doing it in pencil. So it doesn't matter if you do it wrong. You can just rub it out. Now, this is what it should look like. Can everybody see my picture? I feel as though I need to put this up. Oh, speaker. Okay, guys, I've got whatever I've got here in my, on the, um, on the video, I've put it up on, um, on chat. Yes, and fierce, you can use A4. We need just normal paper. It doesn't have to be the kind of paper, you know, I'm using very good paper, but you don't have to use really, really, it just needs to be A4. Three. If you don't have A3, A4 is fine, but your circle has to be smaller. So Anifus and Hanoi, Hanoi, no, sorry, Anifus Gallery. Where's Anifus? Where are you, Anifus, 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 Anifus? Can't see you. Why can't I see Anifus? Wow, Theo, that's excellent. Excellent. I'm going to spotlight that. Where, where did he go? Theo. Theo, I'm going to spotlight you, honey. I'm going to, I'm going to spotlight you. Can everybody see what that what Theo has done? Looks amazing. Theo, are you 40 years old? 
Are you really 40 years old? Yes, Lucy. Show me, Lucy. I'm going to spotlight you too. Yay. Good girl. That's amazing. Excelente. Good girl. What a champion. Yes, Anifus. Good. Good, 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 good. Your circle is very big, though. Your circle is too big, I think. Is that an A4 or an A3 paper? I think that's A3. Is that? It's A4, yeah. It's A4. So your circle should have been just a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Whoever wanted to use a smaller piece of paper just had to make their circle a little bit smaller. I would probably say about, I don't know, seven, seven centimeters wide the circle but that's okay it doesn't matter it still looks good okay so let me just go back where am I now I can't find myself where am I I can't find my wiggly fingers where are my wiggly fingers mm. oh there I am okay I'll spotlight that spotlight for everyone Okay. I can't uh Dorothy, I can't seem to um take anifers off spotlight i'm trying to spotlight myself dorothy can what you hear me you? very yes, nice please. brian yeah i can't seem to take anifers off spotlight why why couldn't i take her off who who is spotlight now Wait, i don't know I... No, i'm trying to make myself spotlight I'll take her off the spotlight miss vicky Okay, so but John is here to help you. Okay, Vicky. Okay, John. Yes, I couldn't take her off spotlight. That's okay. Um, am I on spotlight now? Is my wiggly fingers on spotlight? Spotlight. No. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank yeah. you, John. Good job. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. All right, now, guys. What we're going to do? I'm just going to get rid of the pencil markings because I don't want them to stay behind. Okay, I don't want them to be here. Now, guys, can I just say, you're not going to finish this today, all right? Don't expect to finish this today. Hang on. Um, find my other one the one that I did all right so I'm just going to get rid of all the pencil markings and I'm going to start drawing those lines in there now I want everyone to tell me which part is darker have a look in the chat line please have a look in the chat I'm going to repost the one I did copy and all right everybody have a look on chat which part is the darkest oh hang on it's not come up yet yeah there you go which part is the darkest who can tell me brian which part is the the darkest have a look at the picture in chat it's the circle isn't it yes the circle, that's right, John. Good, good, Dieppe. 
Dieppe, excellent. Everyone notice that the circle is the darkest and that's what I want you to do. I want you to draw some, some design that are going to make this part of the circle, the inner part, much, much darker. Now, I'm always going to draw um, in pencil first, right? And once I get a hold of it, once I understand what I'm doing, I want everyone to then probably take over with a marker, right? So I'm just going to do some of these um, scallops. Remember we did these lines? So have your, have your lines here next to you. And you don't have to do it exactly like me. You don't have to do it exactly like the photo that I sent you. You can do it any which way you like, but just make sure that this part is going to be a little bit darker. Now, look what I'm doing. I'm not really going over my pencil markings because it's just, I just feel like doing it a little bit differently, right? So these are my little scallops. They look like... Um, those fish fish scales, don't they? Yeah, fish scales. Now, what I'm going to do in order to make this area a little bit darker, I'm going to colour in every second one. So, for example, I'll go here. I'll colour that in. And then I'll go here and here and here and here. So see what I'm doing? I'm sort of colouring some, but you don't have to do it like mine. Remember what I said, please don't make mine and yours identical. Okay, that's that's not what I want you to do. I want you to do something that is uniquely yours and I want you to invent your own designs. Okay, now just keep going. Just keep going because I want these inner parts of the circle to be So basically what we're doing is we are creating lines in our design and we are going to create an amazing artwork with all these different lines, right? You can, for inspiration, for ideas, I want everyone to look at this thing that we did. I want you to look at these lines, right? We've got almost two whole pages worth of different kinds of lines right and I want you to use my example or even this one let me take a photo of this one as well let me take a photo of this one as well so you can even look at these and what do you call it you can um copy these onto your computer so you can have something to look at when you go home now guys we're not going to finish these today i'm telling you now we won't finish these because we have a lot of lines to cover all right so please just know that they need to be finished for next week and i want to see them on zello please get your parents to take a photo and we'll put them on zello um, teacher, the picture that you sent in the chat, uh, it, it looks like you sent to me, not everyone. Oh, I, I do that a lot, don't I? Sorry about that. Copy. Thanks, John. Thanks for letting me know. There you go, guys. Sorry.
Okay, I'm finished my first part. What am I going to do for my second one now? What do I want to do? Let me see. I'll probably do some zigzag lines. So zigzag. Now remember, these, these are just whatever I feel like doing now. And you might feel like doing something different, and that's perfectly okay. Now, remember what we said, these inner circles need to be a little bit darker. Yeah, so I'm going to actually add something more here. I'm going to make every second one dark. I'm going to color one. I'm going to leave one light and I'm going to go for the next one dark. Okay. Dark light, dark light. And this is such a relaxing activity, isn't it? Don't you think this is a relaxing activity? You just get lost in all the kinds of different combinations of designs and colours. Well, not colours, lines, just lines. Um, you all, all look cool, teacher. Sorry? You all look cool, teacher. I like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, everyone is going to um, just create their own, whatever they feel like doing. There's no wrong or right. Just make sure that you are original. Use your creativity. Yeah? Just make sure, remember what I told you, these inner circles, the ones that are sealed like this, have to be just a little bit darker than the rest because it, give, it gives you that really nice effect, nice uh, contrast. Okay, so I'm using my texter. Notice how I use my texter. If you don't feel confident about using your texter straight away, you can do it in pencil first and then use your text, your texter, sorry, your marker. We call these texters in Australia, but they're markers. I always make that mistake with you guys. All right, so what's my next one going to be? You know what I feel like doing? Circles. I love circles. Oh, circles is my favorite shape. So I'm going to do lots of different circles and then I'm going to colour in between the circles so it can be nice and dark. Or I could just leave it like that as well. Yeah, I might I might leave it like that as well. So what am I going to do now? Mm, let me think, let me think. Let me have a look at my inspirational. Um, I'm going to do swirls. Yeah, I'll do swirls like this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in between here just so it can be, remember how I told you I want it to be just that extra bit darker? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to colour the in-between bits. 
just so it can be that extra bit darker so that it has that dark that I wanted, yeah. How's it all going? Can everybody please hold up their work? I want to see everybody's work so far. Hold up your work, please. Okay, that's good, Sushi. Ooh, amazing. And a first B, fantastic. Sushi, good. Mia, Ben, Anna, Doe, Kaka. Anna, nine years old, good. And Mia and Kayla, fantastic. Good, Alina. Let me have a look at the other guys. Hold your work up. Ooh, Theo, that's amazing. Oh, wait, hold it up, Mary Star. Hold it up. Good. So you're just starting to with your designs, yeah? Now, are you going to do it with um, a marker, a black marker? Are you going to do that, Mary Star? Joseph, that looks awesome. Ooh, Lily, that's awesome work. Joseph, 39. Fantastic, you guys. Wow. Ni Jen, Ni Yen Dak Tin. Tom, sorry, Tom. Tom should be, you should write your name. Frank, let me see what you're doing, Frank. Hold up your work, Frank. Yes, Frank. Hold up your work. Let me see what you've done. Wow. Awesome. That's so good. And you too, Max. Good. Now, remember, we are going to finish this at home, okay? And then you, I want you to take a photo of yourself and your picture in front of you or just the picture. It doesn't matter. Okay, and put it on there so we can all, we can all see it. Okay, I want you to share it with everybody. Okay, I want to say something about these long ones. You know these long ones now? Okay, I want everyone to have a look at Mika. these long ones. Wait, I haven't finished this one, but you get the idea, right? I'll finish this when I go home tonight. Well, I am home, but I'll finish this at a later date, all right? Now, with these long ones, I want them to be sort of, longish if that makes sense right so i want them to move outwards for example um have a look at the one that i posted earlier where is it where is it there it is the one that i posted earlier gee that doesn't come up very big does it for example i want them to be lines going that way so this is going to be first line I want them to be like elongated lines, yeah, so that have like a, a flowy, yeah, a flowy kind of feel to it. So it's just going to emphasise the flowy line. Okay, and now once I've got all those lines in and then I start doing the, the crossover, the hatching, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that they're nice and even, that they're not too far apart or not too close together. And I'm just going to draw those lines across those. They look like spaghetti tubes or something like that, don't they? They look like a bit like spaghetti. A kind of tube so there's my first one and make sure they're overlapping right make sure they're not sort of blending in with each other because we want to have that impression that they're overlapping that one is in front of the other
Um, now, what do I want to do? What do I want to do next? Your drawing looks amazing. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. How come you're not participating, John? How come you're not doing a drawing with us? All right, I'm just going to leave it like that. Mm, what am I going to do next? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh, you know which one I do like? I like these dashed lines. So I'm going to do dashed lines going that way and then that way. And then so that's that way, that way. And then I'll do a dashed line going downwards. Okay, so these lines are going to go that way. And now I'm going to go... All right, guys, we are about seven minutes away from finishing. Who had a good time today? Who enjoyed their activities? Put your hand up. Yay. Good. I'm glad that you had a good time. I cannot wait to see these amazing drawings. All right. Teo, that's awesome. Joseph, fantastic. Oh, my goodness, Dieppe. That is amazing. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see these finished. I really can't wait to see these finished. B, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, don't forget, you have to do in here as well, okay? You have to do everywhere, even in these spaces, right here and here. You have to do everything. But the only part that needs to be really, really dark are these round, circly parts. Okay, Lily, that's fantastic. What about the inside of your circle? Now, Lily, I've got a feeling that you made the, the wrong part dark. Lily, look at this. Can you see my picture? Can you see my wiggly fingers? Lily? Now, I've got a feeling that you made this part dark, right, instead of this part. The darker part has to be the circle. Now, this part here, I'm going to make a little bit lighter. For example, I'm going to do this one, okay? This is another one that I'm going to do, but it's not going to be as dark. Can you see what I'm doing? This is going to be another, this is going to be the other area, but 
it's going to be much lighter. Can you see the difference in color? Okay, this is lighter, this is darker. All right, and this one as well. What am I going to do on this part? Mm, let me think. Let's do some. Let's do some. And then I'm going to draw a nice little circle in there. Um, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm just going to do some more patterns, basically. Just whatever comes to me. I don't really think about it. I just look at my picture and I say, you know what? I just feel like doing this. And that's how I want you to be. I want you to look at your pictures and say, hmm, I'm just going to, I just, I'm just going to do this line or that line, you know? So can everybody see how? My circle inside is darker and my outside is lighter. All right. Now, that's the end of our lesson. It's 7 o'clock, everyone. I hope you all. What happened? My camera's kind of broken. Oh, no. All right, guys. I had a really good time. Um, thank you, Do um, Dorothy. Can you please uh, un un um unmute everybody i'd just like to just yeah get can you unmute everybody okay guys uh i want everyone to show me their work right Peter. yeah Peter. yeah Peter. excellent Peter. Peter. Oh, my goodness. You guys are amazing. Jordan, that's awesome. And the Tabby, Tayo. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love everybody's work. Lily, fantastic. Fuong. Juan. Juan. Excellent. All right. I will see your work on Zello. Okay, my darlings. Teacher, we we color the picture. No, no, we don't color the picture, my darling. No. We only do it for my work. Hey, teacher. Hey, teacher. See you next week. Make sure you watch the video. Bye, teachers. Ouch, that's kind of loud. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. See you next week. Thank you, John. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, 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 teacher. 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 Bye, b